Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so everything Thank is all right. How are the guests? Yes. Yeah. They are pretty good. <laughs> okay, good then. Is, Thank uh, you. Is Bezat there too? No. Okay. He's in the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, he will connect. He will join. Huh? He will join us. He will Okay. Okay. So very good. Uh, shall we start mm -hmm. or shall we wait for yeah. start? Okay. Yes. Why not? Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, Shirin, would you please start reading? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mining in Af Africa. Yes. Af Africa. Mm -hmm. A tale of uh, a, a tale of two. Billionaires. Yes, billionaires. A tale of two Billion. billionaires, yes. Okay, before going any further, just tell me this, Shireen. Does this remind you of anything? The title of this article, A Tale of Two Billionaires. Does it remind you of anything? Okay. Yes. Fairy tale. Um, no. Nothing. Tale. Yeah. Mm, it's a story or yes, it mm. is story. I I I don't want the meaning. I want to know mm. if it reminds you of anything, like the title of a book. No. Mm -hmm. No. No. Don't translate I, I don't it. Know. Don't translate mm. it. I want you to say it in English. Are you familiar with Charles Dickens? Yes. Okay. Can you name some mm -hmm. of his stories? Charles Dickens. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know in Farsi. In English. Uh, I know in, in English. Oh, okay. You mm -hmm. know in English or Farsi? Which one? Um, in Farsi. Okay, say it in Farsi. Mm -hmm. Um. Bina mm Boyan -hmm. and uh, miserable. Mm -hmm. Yes, what and, else? Uh, I don't. You don't remember anything. Do you remember <laughs> Dastani Dushar? A Tale of Two Cities. A Tale of Two no. Cities. Okay, it's another story by Charles Dickens. So the title of this article is a play on that book, A Tale of Two Cities. Uh -huh. And here we can read A Tale of Two Billionaires. It's a play uh -huh. on that title, okay? So mm -hmm. let's go to the rest. Would you please go on reading? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, one gets uh, prison, uh -huh. the other... A reprieve mm -hmm. from reprieve? sanctions. Reprieve from sanctions. Yes, reprieve very good. From sanctions. So one gets prison, the other a reprieve from sanctions. What does this uh, one and the other mean in here? Who are they talking mm -hmm. about? Because they are two billionaires. Very good. And two uh, billionaires. Yeah. One of them gets yeah. prison. The other, mm -hmm. a reprieve from sanctions. I'm sure that you know the meaning of prison. One gets prison, one yes. has to go to the prison. The other, a reprieve from sanctions. What does this part mean? Mm -hmm. Can you explain? Reprieve. Mm -hmm. Re reprieve. Mm, I don't know, but I guess mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of them can... Uh, escape from sanction. Very good. Excellent. And That's a very good guess, yes. And what is sanction? What does sanction mean? We had this before, you remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a punishment. Very good. Or, uh, Excellent, mm -hmm. yes. Of course, reprieve doesn't mm -hmm. exactly mean escape. It just means that mm -hmm. um, the punishment... Like war. Like what? No, mm -hmm. not that. It means that the punishment mm -hmm. is postponed. 
to another mm-hmm. time. Okay. Mm-hmm. But that was a good mm-hmm. guess. That was a good guess. Very close. And if it was a reading comprehension test, that will help you mm-hmm. a lot. Very good. So when you reprieve someone from something, you postpone their punishments. Mm-hmm. The punishment mm-hmm. still exists. The sanction is there. But uh, if, for example, they were supposed to, I don't know, be executed today, they won't be. It's postponed mm-hmm. to um, two months mm-hmm. from now. Yes, you were saying. And uh, uh, a, a reprieve is a noun or verb. Both. Because there is a. a yes, uh-huh. it's both of them. But in this context. It's a noun, of course. Yeah. Noun. Noun. Because we have the article, the indefinite article, a uh, before it. We don't have a uh, before mm-hmm. verbs, only nouns. Mm-hmm. Like an apple, yes. a book, a pen, yes. So one mm-hmm. gets prison, the other a reprieve from sanctions. Sanctions. So mm-hmm. reprieve, as I said, the pronunciation is reprieve, mm-hmm. means to postpone the punishment. Postpone mm-hmm. the punishment. Can you make a sentence with it? Mm-hmm. Um, reprieve. Uh-huh. Sometimes mm-hmm. um, teachers mm-hmm. uh, um, reprieved uh, mm-hmm. students' punishments. Okay, that was good. Yes, <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Or sometimes it's for people who get the death sentence. You know what a get death sentence is? No, death sentence. sentence. Yes, I just typed it. Mm-hmm. You know death mm-hmm. and you know sentence, right? Mm-hmm. Have you heard? Yes. It? Okay, so when someone is sentenced to death, it means? Mm-hmm. It means what? Um, so, so, uh, no, 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 I don't know. No, no. No, Mm -hmm. don't say, I don't know. Okay, just focus. I'm Mm -hmm. sure that you can guess the meaning. See, for example, I say, if someone disrespects, disrespects um, Mm -hmm. the leader of our country, they Mm -hmm. get the death sentence. Or... They will be sentenced to death. Means what? Something. No. Why do you say so gand? It doesn't mean so gand. It's something like mm-hmm. punishment. Yes. And, uh, How do you say that in mm-hmm. Farsi? How do you say this sentence in Farsi? The word sentence. The word, the death sentence. Tobi. Mm-hmm. I don't. No, we don't say Tobi. Mm-hmm. You know death, right? What is death in Farsi? Yes. Yeah. Uh, mad. Yes. So someone mm. commits a crime, a major crime, a really bad mm-hmm. crime, like disrespecting mm-hmm. the leader of Iran. So mm-hmm. their sentence is death. Mm-hmm. What does sentence mm-hmm. mean in here in Farsi? Um. Like. Punishment, mojazat. Yes, mahkumiyat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> mahkumiyat and marg. Okay? So, um, people who are sentenced to death might get mm-hmm. reprieved if, mm-hmm. if the managers and the leaders change. If they mm-hmm. change, if, they, if new people come to, come to power, then they are... Mm-hmm. Uh, punishment or their death sen- sentence might get reprieved. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. would you okay. please read the first paragraph? The first sentence mm -hmm. of the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. yeah. In December mm -hmm. uh, uh, 2017, mm -hmm. Donald Trump administration Donald Donald Trump administration imposed financial sanction on Dan uh, Gear Slayer yes, on Dan Gear. Okay, wait. Yeah. So in December 2017, Donald Trump's administration imposed financial sanctions on Dan Gertler. Can you find the sentence structure in this, Shirin? One sentence structure in this sentence. Impose. Uh huh. Very good. To, to impose. impose. When you start this structure, start uh, started with two. To impose. Uh -huh. To impose. Uh huh. Something. Very good. On someone. Very good. Excellent. Very good. So to impose mm -hmm. something on someone. How do you say this in Farsi? Mm -hmm. Let me type it. To impose mm -hmm. something on someone. It's mm -hmm. a structure. How do you say it in Farsi? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mahkumiyat was sentence. Uh, there, mm -hmm. there is no sentence in here. Mm -hmm. Impose. Mm -hmm. um, pose, uh, it means vanemut kardan. Impose. No, that's a, a negative. No, no, no. doesn't have anything to do with that. It's just a similarity, but doesn't have anything to mm -hmm. do with that. Let me give you an example, mm -hmm. and then you can say if you understand it. They okay. claim that um, some uh, 40 years ago, uh, mm -hmm. Iraq imposed mm -hmm. a war on Iran, the country mm -hmm. of Iraq. Iraq mm -hmm. imposed a war on Iran. You must have heard this a lot on TV, on radio, and they, they talk about it as the imposed war. Mm -hmm. What's that in Farsi? Mm -hmm. Imposed a war. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, war. exactly. Mm -hmm. The imposed war is Jangi Tahmili. To impose mm -hmm. something on someone means Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. I can say that I imposed this class on you. You didn't want to come, but I imposed it on you. Mm -hmm. Can you make a mm -hmm. sentence with this structure to impose something on someone? Mm -hmm. I don't like to impose my dreams on my daughter. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. See, you're shining so better without Bezad around. <laughs> 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 you shouldn't allow him, um, I don't know, attend the class. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank so. you. <laughs> Okay, impose <laughs> financial sanctions. Okay, so now you understand the sentence. In December 2017, yes. Donald Trump's administration. What does Donald Trump's administration mean? In Farsi again? Um, Donald Trump, cabinet Donald Trump. Dolatish, yes. Dolatish. Yes, impose Dolatish. financial sanctions on Dan Gertler. Mm -hmm. You understand this part, right? If you yep. have a question. Um, an administration in uh, uh, British, it's cabin. Cabinet. Ah, oh, that's cabinet. Mm -hmm. Cabinet. Cabin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Thank you. The administration is do that in here. Do that in Donald Trump imposed financial sanctions on Dan Gertler. You understand this part, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, exactly. like um, just like the sanctions that they imposed, they have imposed, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, financial mm -hmm. sanctions on our country too. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have imposed yes. financial yes. sanctions alongside other kinds of sanctions. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Okay. Shirin, um, I want you to turn this sentence. Mm -hmm. This sentence is active. I want you to turn it into passive. In December mm -hmm. 2017, Donald Trump's administration mm -hmm. imposed financial sanctions on Dan Gertler. This is active. Now, please turn it into passive. Mm -hmm. Dan Gertler mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. uh, was imposed... Mm -hmm. Uh, financial sanction by yes. uh, by Donald Trump's administration. Very good. Administration in December mm -hmm. 2017. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, please read the second sentence. Yes, that came as a shock mm -hmm. to the government mm -hmm. of Joseph uh, Kabila, mm -hmm. Kabila, uh, who yes. Kabila, who was then the uh, president of the Demo Dem Democratic mm -hmm. Republic of Congo. Congo, yes. Congo. So that came as a shock to the government mm -hmm. of Joseph Kabila. That came as a mm -hmm. shock. What does this sentence mean in English? That came. Yes, that came uh, as a shock. That imposed uh, financial, for example, mm -hmm. um, uh, shocked. See, them. yes, shock mm -hmm. them. Imposition of mm -hmm. the financial mm -hmm. sanction shocked them. Yes, mm -hmm. it means that they That's didn't that. expect it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So why they mm -hmm. use came? Why that came? Yes, that is the what? expression. That's what I wanted to say. To come as a shock to someone is an expression. Mm -hmm. It means kasyu uh -huh. qafir gir kardan. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, mostly negative. Okay? Uh -huh. When I heard that mm -hmm. they got married, it came as a shock mm -hmm. to me. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. They're not mm -hmm. fit for each other. It came mm -hmm. as a shock to me. Now, please make mm -hmm. a sentence with to come as a shock mm -hmm. to someone. Mm -hmm. When I um, uh, didn't, uh, I wasn't at meet in university. No, no, no. Focus, mm -hmm. Shirin, focus. Mm -hmm. When? When mm -hmm. I um, wasn't, uh -huh. ad wasn't at meet Ted? at university. At me? Ted. Admitted. Uh -huh. Admitted. Mm -hmm. uh, at on or at none of them uh, at, <laughs> another preposition <laughs> admitted to uh -huh. very good to mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. uh, it uh -huh. it came as a shock to me yes but it came as a shock you said it came so please say the whole sentence again <clears throat> Take your time. When Don't I, hurry. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I wasn't admitted mm -hmm. to the university, mm -hmm. it came as a shock to me. Yes. Or you could say mm -hmm. that when I got the news that I wasn't mm -hmm. admitted to the university, it came as a shock mm -hmm. to me. Can you make another sentence mm -hmm. with to come as a shock to someone? You don't have to just say me. You can make this sentence uh, for anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, when my grandmother mm -hmm. um, passed away, yes. um, my mother, my mom, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it was, it came mm -hmm. uh, as a shock to my mom. Very good. It came as a shock to my mom. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So that came as a shock to the government of Joseph Kabila, who was then 
the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo, who was then. What does them mean in here? Who was follow the president of? Uh, follow. Then? No, no. Then, then. then. Let me highlight it here. Then. Yes. Then. Was then. Who was? Mm -hmm. Who was then the president? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Previous ex. Um, was then. Who was then the president? Oh, ex like ex wife, ex president. Um, mm, yes, you are correct. You are correct. But uh, mm, can you explain better? You understood it mm -hmm. well, but can you explain it in English better? Mm -hmm. Instead of then, instead of then, what else can you say? Who was then the what? president of the Democratic Republic of Congo? Uh, Mr. Kabila, make a sentence, Shireen, okay? You're just uh, saying words. Make a sentence, a whole sentence. Uh -huh. uh, the whole sentence. Uh, Mr. Kabila mm -hmm. uh, wasn't the president right now. Isn't the president um, right now. Very good. Isn't the president right now. Yes. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. he was mm -hmm. uh, the president, not uh, right now. He, he is not a president. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So then in here means at that time. At that time. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, have you finished reading uh, the second book about improving your English through magazines and newspapers? Yes. Yes. Uh, there, there are several uh, points in that book when I talk about then different meanings of the yeah. word. Then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember mm -hmm. one part yes. where they talk about some woman talks about her then husband, yeah. her yeah. Then, then husband, husband. yes, yeah. the husband of yes. Yeah. So was then the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo. So then in here means mm -hmm. twenty seventeen, mm -hmm. the year twenty seventeen. Okay, mm -hmm. Democratic Republic of Congo. There's another name for this country, Congo. Do you know that? Congo. Yes. It's, yes. Yeah, what is it? Mm, Congo? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is it? Do you know where this country is located? Where in the world? In Africa? Yes, of course. Congo. In Central mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. There is another name, an mm -hmm. old name. It was known as Zaire in the past. Now they call it oh. the Democratic Republic of Congo. In Farsi, they, mm -hmm. they used to call it Zaire. Mm -hmm. All right. Would mm -hmm. you please go on, Mr. Gretler? Yes. Mr. Uh, Gretler, mm -hmm. who was named mm -hmm. uh, alongside several uh, alleged, allegedly crooked um, politicians mm -hmm. and businessmen mm -hmm. was one of Mr. Kabila's closest friends. Uh, closest friends, right? Closest uh, cl friends, yes. <clears throat> okay, but mm -hmm. Shirin, you didn't read this sentence correctly. Uh, there was some there was some mm -hmm. problem with the pronunciation. Would you please read it again, Mr. Gertler? Yes, Mr. Gert Gertler. Gertler. Who was Gertler? Gertler. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Gertler, who was named. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, Hi. How are you? Son. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excuse me for the delay. That is okay, dear. Shirin was just mm -hmm. uh, yeah. reading the paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining no, thank us. You. Thanks for joining us. Hi, yeah. Hi, Hi. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, go on, Mr. Gertler. 
Yes, Mr. Gertler, mm -hmm. who was named yes. alongside uh -huh. several uh, allege allegedly? No. Allegedly? No, but you're closer. We had this before, I think. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. Say it. Allegedly. 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 Uh -huh. Allegedly. Uh -huh. uh, no. Crooked. No. Mm. Cro Crooked. No. Crooked. No. The pronunciation mm. is crooked. Mm. Crooked. Eh? Yes. Crooked. Yes. Crooked. crooked. At least in American English. I don't know. Maybe the British call it crooked, but I know that Americans say crooked. Crooked politicians. Crooked. Yes. And politicians and business businessmen mm -hmm. was one of Mr. Kabila's closest friends very good so mr girdler who was named alongside several alleged crooked politicians and businessmen was one of mr kabbalah's closest friends alongside sure what does alongside mean long time yes for a long time no 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 doesn't mean that a long time Side. Pay attention to this sentence. Mr. Gertler, who was named alongside several allegedly crooked politicians. Mm, I know just politician. <laughs> no, but it's an easy, easy word. I think you can guess the meaning. Um, like, let me give you an example, and then you can guess the meaning of the word alongside. I can mm -hmm. say, um, Pilates is not the only sport that can help you um, get fit. Mm -hmm. Alongside mm -hmm. Pilates, you can also mm -hmm. do yoga. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What does alongside mean? Beside. Yes, besides. Can... Beside, mm -hmm. yes. Beside this and that. So he was not mm -hmm. the only person who mm -hmm. was uh, named a crooked politician. There were so several others too. So Mr. Gertler, mm -hmm. who was named alongside several allegedly crooked politicians, allegedly. What does allegedly mean? Allegedly. Mm -hmm. In law? No, 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 no. You mean legally? No, it doesn't mean that. Uh -huh. I think you mistook this one with legitimate. That's another word. It doesn't have anything to do with legitimate. Okay. What is the adjective of allegedly? Adjective? Yes. Alleged. 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 We had it. Alleged. Alleged. Allegedly, mm -hmm. but alleged, yes. So, allegedly crooked politicians. What does crooked mean? Crooked. Mm -hmm. You can guess. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a positive thing or negative? Negative. Negative, yes. When we talk about polit politicians, we usually use negative words. So, crooked means something mm -hmm. negative. Beza, do you know the meaning of this word, crooked? Allegedly crooked politicians may be um, a um, kind of politicians who um, usually does wrong things yes, or sure, um, yes. bad things. Yes, they tell lies. They're not honest with people. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. yes. And they do yes, illegal yes. stuff. Like, for example, 
uh, they have access to a lot of money. They put large amounts of money in their own pockets. And information. Yes. What did you say? Like, like, like. And they have, they have, they have access to a lot of information yes, that we don't. Yes, information, and they make use of them. They make use of them. Uh, yes. They get personal advantage. Yes. yes. We also say, uh, do you know the word for, uh, what do you call it, in English? Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, no. You've never heard but, that word? Uh, mm. Mm, no, okay. the only thing that comes to my mind is Havari. <laughs> That's a good one, yes. <laughs> okay, you could use that, mm. yes. But the word is embezzlement. Let me tell you. Embezzlement. It's embezzle. E M B Z L. No, L E. Embezzle is the verb, it means ichtelaskata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Embezzlement. Is the noun, it means ichtelas. An embezzler yes. is fade ichtelaska, another noun. Yes. Thank you. Of course, crooked doesn't mean embezzlement. Okay, crooked doesn't mean embezzler. I'm, I mean, when you were explaining, if you were familiar with the word embezzle, then you could say that, yes, it, this could be one of the personalities of a crooked politician. Yes. So allegedly, Beza, do you remember the meaning of the word allegedly? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. When, for example, I say something that uh, I'm not right or I'm not sure, mm -hmm. it is, you know, uh, something alleged. Um, I'm I'm saying something allegedly. Yes, you're not sure about it. You don't have enough evidence, or yes. you haven't proved it yet. You might have some evidence. Yeah. You haven't proved it. Yes, it's about um, it's about crimes and stuff. A word that is usually used alongside criminals and crimes. Yes. So, Shirin, Mr. Gertler, who mm -hmm. was named alongside several allegedly crooked politicians and businessmen, comma, was one of Mr. Kabula's closest friends. Do you understand mm -hmm. the meaning of the whole mm -hmm. sentence now? Yes, uh, it. Uh, uh, describe Mr. Gretler, Gretler, yes. uh, who, Gretler mm -hmm. uh, who he's a person uh, and he's the he's Kabila's mm -hmm. closest friend. Yes, one of the closest and friends. Also, now, Shirin, one, I want one, you um, to shorten the sentence. Mm -hmm. Tell me mm -hmm. what the core of the sentence is. It's a very long sentence. And a complex one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gertler, mm -hmm. who was named alongside several allegedly crooked politicians and businessmen, was one of Mr. Mm -hmm. Kabula's closest friends. In order to understand mm -hmm. long sentences better, you need to shorten them. Mm -hmm. Can you shorten mm -hmm. this sentence? Make it short, make it small. Give me the core. Good question. Give me Mr. Gertler mm -hmm. was one of Mr. Kabila's mm -hmm. closest friend. Excellent. Very good. Um, Very good. All awesome. the other part is extra. If you omit that uh, extra, extra part, then you understand it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the last sentence, please. He was also mm -hmm. a medium man mm -hmm. who had sold mm -hmm. much of uh, Congo's wealth mm -hmm. in uh, minerals mm -hmm. to the world uh, since arriving there in the wake of the war in 90, 90, yes. 1997. 1997, yes. He was mm -hmm. also a middleman. What does a middleman mm -hmm. mean, Shirin? Middleman. It's it relates it it relates to his age middle no man? no no that's middle aged mm -hmm. but it's different from middle uh -huh. man. he was mm -hmm. middle aged 
means uh, mm-hmm. mion sol but uh-huh. this one is middle man mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, it it relates to politician it could relate situation. it could relate to politicians and politics mm-hmm. it could re- it could um, be used in other contexts too you can't say that it's only used for politicians Middleman is a general. He's level. He's one. No, not level. Visit. Mm-hmm. How about you? Do middle. you know what middleman means? Uh, he was also a middleman who had sold much of the Congo's wealth in minerals to the world since arrival. I don't know exactly, mm-hmm. but maybe, for example, I want to, you know, sell something to you, mm-hmm. and you are the, uh, you know, final, um, final user yes. or mm-hmm. end user. Uh, but end here, user. in between, end uh, user. Sharing, end for user. example, sharing end user, yeah, sharing mm-hmm. Com- mm-hmm. end user, yes, yes. And for example, sharing uh, comes and buys it from me, and uh, you know. Uh, sells it to you. He's a, I think she's a middleman mm-hmm. here. Yes, mm-hmm. very good. Yes, excellent. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is the mm-hmm. meaning of middleman. It could be used anywhere. And you use the word user. <laughs> you use the word user. There's another meaning for that mm-hmm. in English. Do you know usury? We have usury. Usury? And usury? Yes, I just typed it. I think it's E-R or O-R. Let me check usurer. Yes, usury. Mm -hmm. It's something that is related to to banking and money. Mm -hmm. It's like a dealer? No, not a dealer. Dealer? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, usurer with E. I was correct. The dictionary. And you said uh, that is end user, yes? Yes, that is end user. End user is different from final user. The meaning is yes. different. Yes. If yes. you're, if I'm a final user, yes. it means that I'm using something that you use, that Shirin used, someone else used, and then the same thing comes to me. I'm the final, the last person who uses that. But the end user yes. means un karbare hadaf un. Yes. Okay, but also because you mentioned use and user, I wanted to teach you this. There is the word usury in English. Do you know the meaning of usury mm-hmm. and usurer? I'll give you a hint. It, um, it deals with money and banking and lending money and borrowing money. And it's something that in the religion of Islam is condemned. A usurer is a person who goes to hell. Mm-hmm. User. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. How do you say it in Farsi? They deal with pe- with they deal with money. Usurers deal with money. What they do is called usury. Rebahari. Very good. Excellent. Yes, exactly. And usurer is rebahar. Yes. I think there's another word for it too. Instead of reba, we say something else. No? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's just reba. Uh, in Farsi? Yes, in Farsi. Do we have anything else? Reba or. Uh, is reba Farsi mm, or Arabic? I don't know. Okay, so maybe there are two. One is Arabic and one is Farsi, but yes, that is riba. That is riba khari. Nozul. Uh huh. Nozul. Nozul khari also. Nozul. Yes, nozul khari and nozul khor. Yes, userer. A userer is nozul khor. Now that we're talking mm-hmm. about that. Um, okay, there's something else. I'm not sure about it, so we'll talk about it later. Back to the back to the article. He was also a middleman. Yes, Shireen, were you saying something? Middleman, it means user? No, no, no. We or just, we, I just, just mentioned dealer. because of use, user. Middleman means wasete, of any kind. Wasete. Yes, anyone. Uh-huh. Any For example, you want to sell something, I say, Shireen, just sell it uh-huh. to your, um, your, your, I don't know, your customers. 
uh, amid mm -hmm. the middleman. Okay, mm -hmm. amid the middleman. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 So, who had sold much of Congo's wealth in minerals? You know the meaning of minerals, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Shirin, how do you say minerals in Farsi? No. No, mineral. Yes, the, at the end of this, the first paragraph. Mineral is the thing that you find in a mine. Mine is madan. Mm -hmm. Mineral is the stuff inside of a mine. Mavad de madani. Okay, uh -huh. anything that you mine from a mine, yes. To the world yeah. since arriving there in the wake of war mm -hmm. in 1997. Okay, the last thing I want you to <coughs> talk about, Shirin, is in the wake of. It's another expression. What does in the wake of mean? In the wake of. In the wake of, yes. <clears throat> In the last of, in the end of the war? Um, uh, not exactly, wake. not exactly at the end. You're close, but it doesn't exactly mean that. Mm -hmm. In the wake of war? I can't say that you're wrong, but you need to explain better. When they became wake in a war? No, no, no. It doesn't um, have anything to do with that. With uh -huh. sleeping or being awake, no. Uh huh. Uh, in the wake of the world since arriving, awake. In the wake of war. I know wake is um, not of the matter. Yes, but that is yes, but this one is different. <laughs> Uh, Bezat, how about you? Do you know in the wake of something? What you said, Shirin, was close. I think it is something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I think it is something that happened after the war. Very good. Excellent. In 1997. Exactly. After the war. Right after the war in 1997. Yes. Uh -huh. The war in Congo. The, yes. the writer means the war in Congo. Okay. Thank you very much, Shirin. After? That was, yes, following the war. After it. You said. At the mm -hmm. end of it, that's why I said you were close. It doesn't mean at the end of the war exactly. It means when the war was finished, mm -hmm. following the war, after mm -hmm. the war. Thank you very much, uh -huh. Shireen. Now mm -hmm. I'll go to Bezad. Bezad, would you please read the yeah. first line um, sentence of the second paragraph? Americas. Yes. America's Treasury, uh, Treasury Department mm -hmm. said that Mr. Mr. Gertler had uh, amassed mm -hmm. his fortune through hundreds of millions of dollars worth of opaque and corrupt mining and oil deals. Yes. So was it opaque? We had this before. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I think um, we have opaque and uh, what is the other one? Transparent. Opaque. Transparent. Yes. No, I mean the yeah, pronunciation. Wait. And the pronunciation is opaque yes. or opaque, opaque, I think. I think we discussed this before. Opaque, it's yes. opaque, at, at least in American English. Yes. And opaque, as yeah. you mentioned, was the way they say it um, among uh, among North Korea. Yeah. Yes. So opaque. And, and opaque, I think, is something that is not clear. Yes, very good, exactly. And that's what we need in here. So America's Treasury yeah. Department. What is Treasury Department in America? How do we say this in Farsi? Exactly, very good. Said that Mr. Girdler had amassed his fortune. Amass. What does amass mean? I don't know, but I can guess, guess do. that mm -hmm. he, he maybe uh, uh, gained or he uh, got his wealth from, you know, illegal ways. Yes, but a mess means something else. What you said is correct, but there are some, um, some other points that you have to mention about the word a mess. 
of course, it means that he gained yeah. that fortune. But how? When you amass some fortune, you do something extra. Shirin, do you have any thoughts? Amass his fortune. He amassed mm -hmm. his fortune through hundreds of millions of dollars. Maybe um, he um, collected a lot of money and dollars. Very good. You're closer, but how? Collected how? There's one small point that you have to mention. Assemble? Uh, yes, you are right. Assemble. Yes, you, you, you gather that much money. But through time, you know, it was not a one-time thing. You know, it wasn't, oh, yes. it wasn't like an embezzlement of Mr. Khabari. Okay, he did it just once and then escaped the country. When you amass it, mm -hmm. you do it through time. You do some embezzlement mm -hmm. here, some embezzlement there. You steal some money from this ministry. You steal some money from that deal. Through time, through some years, you gather a lot of money. That's a messing. A messing, yes, yes. A messing a fortune is an expression. You use a mess for other stuff too. When people from, for example, all over the city or country a mess at a place. They do this little by little. They go there little by little. Okay, a mess is fortune. You know the meaning of fortune, which means wealth. Through hundreds of millions well, of dollars yeah. worth of opaque and corrupt mining and oil deals. You know the meaning of corrupt too, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Corrupt mining and oil deals and opaque what does opaque mean in here uh through hundreds of millions of dollars worth of opaque and corrupt mining opaque means a uh, kind of mining that is not clear yes you don't know um, where it came from yeah. you know Yes. The, the um, contracts are there, but they're, for example, fake. You don't know what happened. They yes. did some. Okay, I, it, this word just came to my mind. I don't want to say it. I want you to say it. Do you know how to say pushui in English? Yes. What? The, uh, the word for pushui. Yes, in English, yes. I don't know. Pull. That's the exact I, translation. Uh, money washing. Um, money. Another word when when you have some. Mo no, no, no. Money laundry. Very good. Money laundry. Excellent. Yes. Money um, laundry. So mm -hmm. the money that he amassed is opaque because of the money laundry that he did, because of all these fake and opaque deals that he signed and stuff. That's why. <clears throat> Yes. Okay, opaque and corrupt mining, oil deals. There was something else I wanted to say. Uh-huh, this one. Um, you see in here, the structure, MS this fortune through hundreds of millions of dollars worth of corrupt, opaque and corrupt mining and oil deals. Can you explain this? Something worth, worth yes. of something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred for sure. In here. Yeah, hundreds of millions of dollars, mm -hmm. which worth, no. which, which are worth of. No. No. Worth. The opposite. Okay. The hint is that it's the opposite. Which. Which worth. No, no, I mean, it's the opposite. It means that the corrupt mining oil deals, mining and oil deals were worth millions of dollars. Yeah. I mean that when I say it's the opposite. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Can you make a phrase, yes, not yes, a sentence, yes. a phrase, or if you can, a sentence with that structure? You expect it to be the reverse, but that's how they say it. I'll give you an example. Shirin, I want you to make a sentence too. 
example, something worth of mm -hmm. something uh, which uh, or something worth of hundreds of million dollars no, no, of dollars. No, that's not this, the same expression. It's something else. I can tell you this. For example, I can say that our company bought mm -hmm. two hundred uh, dollars worth of stationery. Your hospital bought one hundred million two months worth of vaccines. Do you get it? Do you understand how it's used? Yes. Okay, so now make a sentence. Uh, my sentence? Yes, sure. Uh -huh. mm. Before you do that, can you say this sentence in Farsi? Um, Before you do that, can you say this sentence in Farsi? This, this one. I have Farsi. done a lot of. Mm -hmm. I have done a lot of philanthropic activities mm -hmm. worth of um, hundreds of millions of tomans. Yes, but you did the reverse. I want you to use it in the same way that is used in this paragraph. See, you first mentioned the. the money and then say what it oh, yes yes mm -hmm. um i have collected uh -huh. hundreds of millions of dollars uh -huh. worth uh -huh. of uh -huh. charity and worth of charity mm -hmm. you could charity 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 but money, money. Charity money. Charity money. یعنی به اندازه نگاه کنید همین رو خواهد هم اول فارسی شو بگید نگاه کنید ایشون مبلغ هول و هش ها میلیون دلار جمع کرده از چی؟ از این قراردادهای ماینینگ و نفتی که قراردادهای فاسد و مبهمی بودن اوکی؟ یعنی اول گفته که مبلغ این قراردادها آها. چقدر بوده بعد گفته اینا چی بوده اصلا این پوله از چه راهی بوده What was my, my example? My example was this. Our hospital bought $200 million dollars worth of vaccines. Yani bi maristan ma andaze 200 million dollar masalan pul babat vaccine vaccine pardakh karde. Yes, yes. Okay. Ye maqdari expressionish bar akse. So. What can you say? Um, I have spent mm -hmm. uh, hundreds of uh, uh, hundreds of can I say millions of tomans mm -hmm. worth of insuring my our cars, for example, and our house. Okay, wait, wait. I have spent, you said, hundreds of millions of two months worth of insurance, not insuring, okay? Worth, worth of, of insurance. Insurance. On our house, I have spent. On our house and cars. Yes. Make it smaller. Make a smaller sentence. When you're making a new sentence, make it smaller. Don't make long ones. Make the same one smaller or make another one. Yes. Um, I I have studied. Um, can you make I the have same studied, one? Uh, can you make the same one smaller? The same sentence. First, make the same one. Uh, smaller. Yes. I have spent. I have spent a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Uh, worth of insurance on my car and house and my house yes yes or you could uh, just name a smaller amount of money yes very good can you make another one uh, we uh, we used mm -hmm. um We use a lot of, you know, blood products mm -hmm. 
worth of uh, saving our um, patient last night. We used a lot of blood products worth of saving. Hmm. Doesn't sound correct. I've only seen uh -huh. this being used for, you know, money and stuff. You know, for example, oh, yes, when yes. the police arrived, they found, I don't know, hundreds of millions we of have, dollars yeah, worth of gold. Metal yeah, we have spent, mm -hmm. yeah, we have spent um, a lot of money mm -hmm. worth of having CT scan in our hospital. Okay, so you don't mention the exact amount, you just say a lot of money. We have spent a lot of money worth yes. of having CT scan, you um, mean CT scan machine in your hospital. Machine, yes. Okay, we have yes. spent a lot of money worth of CT scan machines or a CT scan machine. A CT scan yes. machine or a CT scan machines, plural or singular, in our hospital. Yes, why not? Yeah, sure. Is that correct? Yes, to me it is. Yeah, sure. Shirin, how about you? We have used it just for money. Yeah, as far and as I know, yes, it's just for money. Yes. Okay. Um, I mm -hmm. um, put, uh, for example, 300 million. Mm -hmm. The 300 million tomon million and the months. bank no sure it's million tomons million tomon uh -huh. uh, at the bank and uh, i <laughs> gathered uh, each 100 mm -hmm. um, is uh, uh, from different no no it doesn't have anything to... i was <laughs> waiting for the word worth and <laughs> it didn't mm -hmm. came okay yes read mm -hmm. this sentence maybe it helps you america's treasury treasury department said that mr gertler had amassed his fortune through hundreds of millions of dollars worth of opaque and corrupt mining and oil deals. Besset, can you make this mm -hmm. sentence shorter? Make it shorter and to the point. America's Treasury Department said that Mr. That's uh, Gertler has... Right? America's Treasury Department, we don't need that. Just keep the core. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Gertler mm -hmm. has assumed had his fortune. Amassed, had assumed. Amassed. Yeah. Amassed, amassed okay. yes. Had amassed his fortune. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, through uh -huh. uh, opaque and corrupt mining. Okay. And oil deals. Okay. How about worth then? You forgot about worth. Do it again, please. I make it. Uh, you made it too much, too short. I made it simple. <laughs> yes, too short. Then you forgot about the word worth. That's the important part. Then, Mr. Gertler. Yeah, yeah Mr. Gertler had um, um, amassed mm -hmm. his fortune uh, through hundreds of millions of dollars uh, worth of opaque and corrupt mining and oil deals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me type it. I, I wasn't paying attention. Wait, wait a minute. His fortune through uh, instead of hundreds of millions of dollars, that's too much. We say millions of dollars. Millions of dollars <laughs> worth of oil deals. That's shorter. Okay. Was was your sentence this? Mr. Gertler had amassed his no. fortune. No. Okay, has a, had amassed his fortune through millions of dollars worth of oil deals. As tariqe, qarjasi nafti ke milyon ha dollar 
ارزش داشتن قیمت داشتن ثروتش رو کسب کرد جمع کرد این چرا یه بار چیز بکنیم had amassed his fortune خب تا اینجا یعنی ثروتش رو به دست آورده through از طریق hundreds of millions of dollars بله 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 از طریق صدها میلیون دلاری که مهم. به ارزش اینقدر هست نه. که ارزشش معادل نه برعکس از طریق قراردادهای نفتی و قراردادهای معدن فاسد و مبهمی که ارزششون صدها میلیون دلاره برعکس از پایین ترجمهش یعنی... میکنیم از پایین ترجمهش میکنیم through hundreds of millions of dollars worth آها. Okay, of اوپی... آها. از طریق قراردادهای های اوپیک و کرابتی که مدل این قدر میلیون دولاره بله 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 سخت مثلا my husband our hospital bought 200 میلیون دولارز worth of vaccines یعنی بیمارستان ما واکسن خریده چقدر به اندازه مثلا دیویس میلیون دلار یعنی دیویس میلیون دلار پول ارزش آفرین به ارزشه دیویس میلیون دلار پول بابت واکسن داده اول شما میگید چی بله بله. اول شما میگید چه قیمتی قیمت رو ذکر میکنید بعد worth of بعد میگید چی بوده که این قیمت رو داشته خب بعد از worth حتما باید of بیارین بیاله این توی این اکسپریشن of هست of. آف. اگه اسم باشه که هیچی اگه بخوام فعلی چیزی بیاریم باید آینجی باشه بله چون آف داریم بله بسیار عالی افتاد پنی درابت پنی درابت ای گین تری هندرد دالر ترو ورد آف مای ارنینگ خیال بشید اینجا خب این تروه اینجا تو این جمله هست خب جمله طولانیه وقتی دارید میسازید جمله خودتون رو کوتاه بسازید بعدا که یاد گرفتید حالا این تروه و اینها رو بهش اضافه کنید اوکی okay? I gain 300 dollars dollars worth that is worth no dollars no. worth منظورشون بود I gain 300 dollars worth of gold you could say worth of gold الان جملتون رو من کوتاه کردم این شکلی I gained yeah. I, I received 300 dollars worth of gold یعنی یه مقدار پول به هم رسید تلا به هم رسیده که ارزشش از نظر دلاری 300 دلاره. I gained dollars worth of gold. یا مثلا میتونم بگم I bought 200 million dollars worth of property. یعنی من yes. خریدم ممکنه یه دونه نباشه. املاک خریدم به ارزش 200 میلیون دلار. I have bought 200 million dollars worth of property. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry, I was talking and I didn't pay attention to the fact that you were signed out. Yeah. Okay, Shirin, I want to help yeah. you a little bit so that you can make your own sentence. Um, mm-hmm. Just suppose that, do you know how much Mr. Khavari embezzled? How much? How much? How much did he? A lot. <laughs> okay, just suppose really? that it was... Okay. Yes? Did you say something, Beza? Three thousand... Uh-huh. Yeah, three thousand billion dollars. Okay, so let me type it. Three thousand billion dollars. Billion dollars. Is that correct, or did you just make, make it up? Cesar milliard dollars. Cesar milliard dollars. So, it is correct. So, three thousand billion dollars. Okay. Just suppose, Shirin, uh, that Mr. Khavari did not embezzle this mm-hmm. this money just embezzled gold a lot of gold worth of this much money can you make mm-hmm. a sentence he embezzled yes mm-hmm. he embezzled um 
three billions, three thousand three billions dollars mm -hmm. worth mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. uh, gold. Yes, worth of gold. Ah, yes. Son. <laughs> yes, that was good. Great, very good. Bravo. Yes, see, yeah. when you're using this expression, you're talking about the worth of something in mm. money. Okay, mm -hmm. so he signed yes. all these oil contracts, mining contracts that worth that were worth this much money, and then he gained mm -hmm. this much money. Okay, when I say that our hospital bought two hundred million dollars worth of vaccines, I'm talking about the vaccines. I'm not mm -hmm. just saying that the hospital spent $200 million. No. I'm saying what it spent it on and how much those mm -hmm. vaccines are worth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that is the main point. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Maybe you need to work with it a little bit, Shireen. And don't worry. Yeah. This For is example, the I can say mm -hmm. I, I have bought... Mm -hmm. Or I have spent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, one billion dollars mm -hmm. worth of car. Worth of car? No, that's not correct. I have spent mm -hmm. one billion dollars worth on buying my car. That is another thing. It's not worth of. This expression is different. What was your sentence? Let me type it. Uh -huh. What did you say? Say it again, please. No, 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 in English. What was your sentence? I spent... I have spent... Okay. One million, one million of dollars. Million dollars. Okay, million dollars. One million dollars uh -huh. worth... Okay. Of... Mm -hmm. Of... Uh, of what? Of car or of no, buying my no, car? That is not correct. This is your sentence. This is not correct. No. See, this uh -huh. is not about spending. Did I say spending? I said, yes, no. I said our hospital bought, okay, bought $300, 200, $200 million worth of vaccines. I was talking about buying the vaccines that were worth this much money. Okay? Let yes. me give you an, yes. another example. It's not clear yet. I can say that, for example, Bezad, I have, I have $200 million worth of cars. I can say that. For example, I have I two have Mercedes two. and one BMW. For example, I don't know how much they are, they are worth. And yes. they are two hundred million dollars worth of money. Yes, yes. 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 I think it's wrong uh -huh. to say it like that. This sentence is wrong. Can you make another one? Yes. I have I have uh two uh billion of billions of tomans worth of houses. I have say it again, I have two okay, make a smaller amount I have, <laughs> make a smaller amount of money i have uh -huh. i have yes mm -hmm. two billion uh -huh. two billions of tomans uh -huh. worth of houses okay two billion tumans worth of houses yes why not yes the house or houses the two billion two billion tumans yes in here, hundreds of million, million millions of dollars is something else. It's had how many It's different from two billion dollars. Uh -huh. Okay, two billion dollars is two milliard yeah. uh, dollar. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Two, two billion, two billion, two billion dollars 
worth of or worth of houses, for houses, example. Yes, or property or anything. Yes, you can work with this expression, yes, yes, Shirin. You can uh, Google this. Google for example sentences of worth of something. Okay, and you might, of course, come across and this expression. Uh, we use this expression for writing, or we can use it in speaking no, also. They, they use it in speaking too. I've heard it on the news too. For example, when people, mm. oh, when yes. the police, uh, when the police arrest a criminal who's a drug dealer, what do they find in their house, Shirin, when they arrest a drug dealer? Mm -hmm. no, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of cocaine very good excellent yes for example for instance yeah. they could find that yes. yes that's how they you use it um, yes. mm -hmm. thank you you're, you're welcome dear okay so and that is the end of, of um, <clears throat> today's class okay yes thank you and mm -hmm. next session we'll have a review of this session and for next session, okay. yeah. I think, Shirin, you have three other sentences to make too, right? And you, you yes. were supposed to do it on <laughs> Wednesday, but I don't want you to do it on mm -hmm. Wednesday. On Wednesday, we'll do the IELTS mm -hmm. stuff. Okay? Put those okay. three sentences mm -hmm. um, beside mm -hmm. this one and then make them all mm -hmm. next Monday. Okay? Okay. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Thank okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank See you on Wednesday. Feeling yeah. should be the master of making sentences. Says, yes, <laughs> master of making. Yes, that yeah. one too. Yeah, I think after you know several months, you'll be like those. Um, what do we call them? Politicians in Iran, uh, who have mm -hmm. a lot of job titles. <laughs> You know, some of them have more yes. than 10 and you don't know how they can manage all these. So when you post yes, something on our website, Shirin, then someone has to scroll yeah. down and up and see all the titles that you have. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like Ali yes, sure. Mm. How many does he have? Is it 30, <laughs> 20, 30 or something? May <laughs> I don't know. He's... You know, Tariq Dan, he is doctor, he is a phil philosopher, yes, <laughs> professor of university, everything. Yes, he's everything. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he can name them all. He cannot mm -hmm. name his all, all of his titles. Yes. So, yes, Perfect. why not? We'll wait for Shireen okay. um, to really master Thank you. this yes. sentence making uh, practice. <laughs> and yeah. then I'll give you this title too. You have to win the title, you know? <laughs> I can't just give it away. <laughs> I'm serious because we have another title yeah. that's the High Phoenix in our on our mm. website, and there was a challenge for mm -hmm. becoming a phoenix, and people really mm -hmm. tried. They did their best to win the title of the High Phoenix, mm -hmm. and there are very few students yeah. on our website who are High Phoenixes. So. <laughs> Yes, you'll win the title too. Yes, sure, why not? Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Have Thank a good you very day. Much. You too, dear. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.